All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide, trips deep. Pros next, go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. What's going on, everyone? Ancap24 here from Huddle.gg. In today's video, we're going to talk about the title update and one specific spot in the title update that they went ahead and made a change that's going to really make this empty chips type formation so much better. Now, if you go ahead and look at what they put in there, it said they fixed an issue, sometimes allowing unblocked defenders when using the block and release routes in empty formations. Those blue routes are the ones that they're talking about. And in the past, they were very inconsistent. A lot of times that there would be blitzers that would run right by them. They would uh, release too quickly. They weren't targeting the blitzers as well. And it was something that by design was great, but the execution of putting them in the game just did not happen the way that you can rely on them as often as you would want to. Well, they fixed that. If you look at the dev note, what you're gonna see is eligible receivers with a block and release assignment will not go out into their route until they meet at least contact with the blitzing defender that they're targeting. The blocker is going to stay in engagement for a very short period of time and then release on the route. I'm going to show you that here in this video and show you exactly what they're talking about when a blitzer is coming, when a blitzer is not coming, how you can see the difference of what they're going to do. And make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to make these blue routes even better when facing this dollar DB fire to meta and something that you're going to want to add to your offense if you have this formation in it. Let's jump into it. So before we really jump into route combinations or anything when it comes to attacking DB Fire 2, let's just show you what the blue routes do and I'll show you how it's improved from before. Now what we're gonna do is just pick any play here and what you'll see here is a lot of people like the baseline press. Say they're sending both slot corners, right? What's gonna happen here is that these blue routes are now going to be able to gain contact with those players and release because they are targeting the blitzer making contact and going. So watch how both players here are gonna go ahead and touch their players. Once they have, they're gonna be able to go ahead and throw this ball pretty easily. And you've got this blitz all boxed up, right? If you look at it here, these guys are sending heat at you. Because you have that ability to go ahead and target them, you now literally have seven blockers against their five players. And you can see how we're gonna be able to hit them both, release to the outside, you can see here, I got to hit either 41 or eight, depending on which one I would have done. And you can see how we've got routes in the middle of the field that are only covered by two players because you know they're sending a blitz, right? You see how that's a really, really easy um, way to basically pick this up and also have a lot of success. So now what if they want to hover or send an extra player? So they do their blitz and you're going to put that extra player here. Let's just blitz this player and pretend like this is a user where they're going to touch and go, right? I'm just going to leave them there because I only have one hand for two controllers, whatever. But what you're gonna see here is that you're gonna get aligned just the same because you have extra blockers. You're just gonna see everybody's gonna pick up their man. Once they pick up the man, we go ahead and throw this out here. And you're gonna get yourself some easy, easy yards because of the fact that your guys got everything absolutely covered with these two blocker release routes. So let's go ahead and look at um, these blue routes and show you how we can make them even better and how this is going to be such a headache for your uh, opponent. Now, I don't want to show you route combinations in this video. I just want to talk about the blue routes. If you want route combinations with this, you got to check out our website. I did a whole game plan on this at the Arizona Cardinals playbook. It's something that's got four different empties, one being this empty chips tight. We have another empty chips quads, which is going to be able to use these blue routes. And then two really, really, really good uh, formations in the empty tray stack, which is my favorite, and the empty halfback wide. So this video is really about talking about how to use these blue routes. If you want to see it in a full scheme, go check out that uh, game plan in our website. Now, what you're going to see here is that that these blue routes have the opportunity to be smart routed. Okay, this is something that Rockets, who's part of our team, had found early in the year, and we've been using it ourselves in order to really make it work. But now that we've got this blocking that has been fixed, it's really, really going to take this formation to the next level. Watch how I go and put this A on a smart route. I can do the same with the Y. And why this is important is because when people start seeing that their blitzes are coming in because you are using this blocking tactic, they're gonna start taking this one um, DB over here on the right, this A player, and they're gonna go and basically zone him off or man him up. There's no reason for him to be going if he's not getting home. So they're just gonna send one to kind of get you a little bit more on a timer. And a lot of times what they're doing is they're, they're taking these players and they are uh, basically um, making them go into a, uh, like a cloud coverage to where they're over going to the right. And this is a very popular way people are gonna run this, right? Well, what you'll see is that we're going to go and get the opportunity to clear out the right side 
with these two routes on the right and allow the A to get up the seam while still having the ability to hit the Y low because there's nobody gonna be there. So I'll just show you a, a route combination I like real quick, something like this. And this is going to take this hook curl, or actually it's a, it's a vert hook, out of the play because there's two vertical routes and because there's two vertical routes, he's going to basically match and go on them, leaving the A wide open. So watch what happens here. You're gonna do the little chip. He's gonna go up the field. Now you have the A and you got yourself an easy 15 yards just by using that blue to go ahead and help block. Like you see here, you can see he's gonna help block originally, right? He helps this, blocks this guy. He gets him on a delay. Everybody clears out and you can see how he's gonna get open really, really easily right here for the big yards. Now, the user has to make a choice here. You know, if you wanted to put both these guys on the smart route, you can do that. The, the user would have to choose between either side of them. But here, at least with when it's coming where um, it's basically on a short and a deep one, you have the, the 41 that kind of goes to the outlet outside, and now you've got better spacing. One's lower, one's higher, one's on the right hash, one's on the numbers, and you can see how it works. I'll show you basically what I mean by, um, you know, if you're doing it to where you are going and putting them both on uh, the, the deeper uh, smart rounded ones, right? So say it's like this, and the same type of situation, we're doing this where we put the RB and the B over here, and we want to smart route both of them. What's going to end up happening is that the user is going to have to make a decision which way he goes, left or right. So if you've done this once and he wants to go to the right, what you're going to see here is you're going to go this way. Now you go here, you throw this to the Y, now you got this ability to get this up the field, and you're good to go because they're going upward. Before you actually make the break, you want to hit that. So that's really how this is really a nice opportunity to block this DB fire to have additional players go out, have them go to the flat, have them go up, use these smart routed um, blue routes to your advantage. But because EA went ahead and fixed this for us, this empty chips tight is going to be one of those formations that um, really can take your uh, game to the next level when it comes to, you know, facing these, you know, double slot blitzes like DB Fire 2 and whatever the case may be, um, and gives you that opportunity to, to really have confidence in the pocket that you can get these route combinations down the field because you got great protection. We appreciate you guys. Hope you guys liked that video. Hit the like if you did. Check out the website if you want to go and uh, use this um, formation in a full scheme. It's really, really um, nice one that you're going to be able to have a lot of fun in Madden right now. Appreciate y'all, and we'll catch you on the next video.